It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice. This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. I can't do that from here. We tell you, your knife helps you here. Ye come back, and I'll bring you all your muckle with me rusty shovel. Oh, yeah? Well, f you. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. Hi there. I don't want to carry this shit anymore. It's out of order, but how is it ringing? It's out of order, but how is it ringing? Dolores, how's life in the big city? Getting kind of sick of it, but it's better than here. Interested in a little interview for the award-winning Nickel? I'm sure our readers would be fascinated. I don't think so. The town is pretty mad at me for abandoning my uncle. It's a perfect way to get your side of the story out. Local girl makes good making... making... What is it you make again? Adventure games. Ah, games. You mean for kids? No, our main audience is adults. Lots of shooting and killing, that sort of thing. You solve puzzles and navigate great interactive dialogues. 
You mean like the one we're having right now? Yeah, but mine are better written. I hope so. I'm a little confused over my feelings for Uncle Chuck. He was a complex man. Mind if we talk some more about Uncle Chuck? Oh, I could write a whole book about his ego and arrogance. I think I need to go. Bye, Del Sorry to hear. Bye, Natalie. Let's see. I decoded it from binary. Knowing Uncle Chuck, okay. The rest of the bits are irrelevant to cryptography. I'll just bitwise and them away. I did it. I did it! It's totally decoded now. Dig in! Here's the decoded will, Mr. Balowick. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. One of Chuck's three stipulations is now fulfilled. The will is decoded. We still need a thimbleberry pie, and then we'll... Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. Ricky, you make such great thimbleberry pie. Can I get one? I'm sorry, hon. I'm out of the pie making biz. Strictly tubes now. Oh, no. I have a problem then. In order to hear my uncle's will read, I need one of your famous thimbleberry pies. Well, in honor of your Uncle Chuck, I'd make an exception. But there just aren't any more thimbleberries left. Your uncle had them harvested to extinction. But, but where were the last ones you know about? It's sad, isn't it? The last thimbleberries were spotted out in the old forest. Not the forest. I always hated it in there. <laughs> yes, pretty spooky. No one goes there unless they have to. People have been lost in there for days. Days? And I heard some never make it out alive. It's true. I've heard those stories too. And then there's the old bear problem. So... First thing, you'll need some thimbleberry picking gloves. You know how those thorns can leave you breaking out in welts. I just happen to have an old pair I could loan you. Thanks!
Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Take it. It's another. Ugh, smells awful. The map is useless in this forest. It's a puddle full of muddy water. Dolores. Oh, let's here are the thimble berries you need to make a pie. And also your gloves. Thank you. I'll... Here's your thimbleberry pie. Exactly how Chuck liked it. Thank you. Cast your lot before it's too late. It's the Book of the Dead. Take it if you wish. It's on the house. But beware! Beware of what? Huh, nothing. It just sounded ominous. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Wait until I'm off of the ladder. Mr. Balowick, here's the freshly baked thimbleberry pie. Two of Chuck's three stipulate the final one is... I'll meet you there. Well, my family will wait right here until you've opened the tomb, Dolores. Hurry along. We don't have all evening. Poor Chuck, he needs his sleep. I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. I'd better hold on to this until later.
That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. open that. The doors are closed. Thank goodness you're back. Don't you get bored being stuck here for all eternity? The first 50 years are hard, but then you get used to it. New guests show up, and it's fun to figure out what scares them. I also love this new invention you have called TV. Oh, I love when one of the guests is watching The Rich and the Soapy. That show is so funny. Bye and good luck, Clara. This channel is just static. I should find enough. What is that on the TV? Uh, nothing interesting. Back. It's now showing banana, but it's now show. It's now showing the rich and company. Thank goodness. Bye and good. They've got the house. They've got. What is that on the TV? Oh my! It's my favorite. The rich and the soapy. Elevator duty can wait. Who's that now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her. Great view. I can see everything from here. The book is glowing. It's glowing, but I can't read the text. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. I love you, Dolores. 
I'm very proud of you. It looks ready for me to say the spell. Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbonius Jumbonius. Let me visit my dead relatives. Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. Now, all three of Chuck Edmund's stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. I will now read his will. I, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this, my last will and testament, blah, 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 legalese here. Ah, yes, it is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam, quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? and that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding. What? Oh my. Ooh, <laughs> Doug likes farms. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. Oh, and this last part in tiny print, Dolores gets a Pillotron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as he'll ever get from Pillotronics. Lenore gets nothing, Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yippee! Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving. Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. I love you, Dolores. I'm very proud of you. It's much too heavy to open, and I don't... It's a Pillowtronics t-shirt with a tube on it. The only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Ricky, take a look at my t-shirt. Can you make the tube in the schematic? Interesting. Chuck's design is brilliant. Yes, I can make this tube. Won't be a jiffy. Here's the PF001 tube, exactly how Chuck designed it. Thank you. It's a rare PF001 tube. It's almost the same size as the TX1138 tube, so my two pullers should work with it. It's a promotional bank flyer. Open an account today and get a free toaster. Hello, excuse me, Miss Edmund. What are you doing? It's the key to my uncle's factory. I just need to check things out. Miss Edmund, we take our trusteeship job seriously here. You know the factory is in probate. Are, are, are you coming on to me? These obscene folk calls are getting annoying.
Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Yes. I'm your friendly, obscene caller. No, you're not. The obscene caller makes a lot of filthy noises and moaning sounds. Now, goodbye. Hello, Safely First Saving. Is anyone there? Oh. Is that you again? Blow. It sounds like you, but I'm not sure. Whoa. I'm almost certain you're the same obscene caller as before. Well. It is you. That's right. Keep it your moaning. I'll get you. Keep talking. I've almost traced you. I know where you hid your money. There you go again. The key fits. It's locked, and there's no handle. Pillowtronics. The mechanized pillow factory. Nothing happens. It's a Dortron 3000, but it's missing its tube. It fits perfectly. Nothing happens. It's a Dortron 3000, and it seems to be functioning. There's a radiation sign on this silo. Must be radioactive waste. It's now filled to the brim with radioactive waste. Nice photo. It's a map of the abandoned factory. It's a torn piece of paper. This place is a mess. It's some crumpled up paper. It's a scrap of worthless. It's a piece of paper filled with years of filth. see another time clock back there, but this truck's in the way. It looks like the battery is dead. I don't want to contaminate that. 